holding your breath is something that I expect most of you have tried at some point. If you've been part of a swim club, you've probably done specific underwater training. A typical set would be, say, four lots of 25 meters, keeping your breath held. Now, personally, I hated these sessions. I was terrible at them, and I'd come up spluttering after just about 20 meters. And I was always left asking why? What is even the point of this? Is there even any benefit? Well, I thought it's time that I answered these questions or found out the answer to these questions and wanted to see if I can actually improve on my pathetic breath holding. How was that? Is that better? <laughs> Back down, that's not long enough. That's just a minute. <sighs> now, amazingly, the current Guinness record for someone holding their breath underwater without the use of pure oxygen prior is 11 minutes and 50 four seconds That's held insane. by Branko Petrovic. Now, we're going to actually try and do our own breath holding attempt today, but slightly different because, well, we are traffic and swimmers after all. So what we're going to be doing is trying to go as far as we can underwater on one breath. Now, obviously that is going to be using some of that valuable oxygen to actually power ourselves through the water. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure we would get close to 11 oh, minutes 54. Easy, easy. <laughs> I mean, not at all. Obviously, we are here to just have a bit of fun, but also hopefully improve on our initial efforts. But you being realistic, what do you reckon? Where are you at, Mark? I find that I need to keep doing the breath holding stuff to actually get better, I guess, naturally. But I, I, I think I'm going to be pretty poor today. What's poor? I, I think it'll be a push to get 50 meters. Okay, well, you're, I, gonna, you're I, gonna be doubling me. My target is to get to the other end of the pool. Really? That's, that's my target. Okay, well, good luck to us then. Let's do this. <laughs> To try and reach my target of two laps, I opted to try and get as streamlined as possible and steadily kick to the end. And that is 50 meters in the bag. It wasn't perfect, but I did reach my goal. Now it's time for Heather's attempt. I decided to go for the straightforward breaststroke so I could keep my heart rate under control and save as much energy as possible. Now, whilst Mark and I did meet our targets, there is definitely still room for improvement. So we decided to speak to big wave surfer Andy Cotton and get some advice. Now, you're probably wondering why we have a big wave surfer helping us with breath holding. Well, they actually have to be pretty good at it. If they wipe out while surfing a big wave, they can find themselves unable to breathe for a sustained period of time. And Andy is one of the best big wave surfers in the world and has done a lot of training to help him hold his breath underwater. So for me, it's all about turning off, like turning off the mind, not thinking, and just sort of, yeah, almost like letting go, you know, like in a weird sort of way. So it's not about, um, how long you can hold your breath, it's more sort of how well you can disconnect from your mind. So it's not like forgetting <laughs> the, the distance and the time. Yeah, forget, yeah, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Well, what about when you start like getting that compulsive reaction to breathe? Well, well that's that's the interesting thing, so like, so yeah, that natural thing of like when you want to breathe, it makes you want to speed up. Yeah. So especially in the water, so in a wipeout, when I'm underwater and I need to breathe, the natural thing is to start moving quickly and trying to get to the surface. Um, but in a wipeout, especially, you know, you're pretty much in the hands of the, of the elements and, you know, the ocean, and there's no, there's no point in fighting that. Um, so it's all about letting go and calming down. So when you're doing your length underwater, when you're doing a breath hold, when you feel that need to speed up, it's about slowing down, if that makes sense. <laughs> it, it, it makes sense in the fact I know what you're saying, but it doesn't make sense in my brain if I was underwater. Definitely wouldn't make sense. Yeah. Something to make sense on land. Yeah, yeah. When I've got plenty so, of options. Yeah. So I think that's a skill. But there's loads of really fun training stuff that I do, which um, it might help you. So. When you say yeah. fun, is this all going to be uncomfortable? Is it? 
Um, that's why I'm, I'm well, a bit offensive yeah, but it's 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 learning to enjoy that uncomfortable, you know, being uncomfortable, you know, getting used to that uncomfortable feeling. Uncomfortable. We talk about that yeah. when it comes to like run sessions, some sessions all the time, not just sitting on the bottom of the pool sessions. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm eager to see these. So should we head on over and get going? Yeah. With every breath hold, so I, I always bring it back to, to my sport, which is surfing. Um, and so before every breath hold, uh, as a surfer, as a big wave surfer, um, I sort of install into myself uh, what I call a dump breath. And the, thing, the natural thing is, is when you have to hold your breath quickly, um, a drop of a hat, you naturally just <sighs> inhale, yeah, to hold your breath. Um, so you want to sort of forget that, and you want to, before you inhale, you want to exhale. So it's basically just quickly dumping all your, your, your stale air out of your, out of your lungs, out of your belly. And then re refreshing, but starting from the belly, you know, chest, shoulders. But you can do that really quickly. Um, so I'm not sure, obviously, how, you're, how quickly you have to hold your breath. But for me, I have to, sometimes it can be a couple of seconds. So you get your dump breath in. Empty your breath, and then a full lung of oxygen. So we're going to do a 15 second static here, and on 15 seconds, I'm going to give you a signal, tap you, and then you're going to turn around and you're going to try and do a whole length underwater. Okay. So the, the key things here, okay, is sometimes even at 15 seconds, you can start to be feel a little bit uncomfortable. But as soon as you start moving, things will, will change. But when you get to about halfway in the pool, you might want to start speeding things up. That's when you might want to breathe, and that's when you might want to start speeding up. Just try and slow it down. Uh, Recognise it, see it, slow things down. Okay? And hold. And then get facing the water, face down, hold. Relax, relax your fingers, just super relax into it. Relax, relax. Okay, there's 15 seconds and turn super slow and start to swim your length. Slow, relax, slow. So, so. <laughs> Just remember, it's not a race to the other end, okay? So <laughs> calm the legs down, try and get some nice fluid movements, yeah? Using your arms more than your legs. Um, okay, so remember, you good, good dump breath. So, <laughs> get, <laughs> good, good dump breath. So get your dump breaths in and hold. And relax your body, relax your bodies. Keep holding. Really relax. Relax. And then start moving now. Again, really slow. Slow it down. Yeah. So we're going to the next exercise. Um, which is one of my favourite, but it's also the worst one. <laughs> but the thing is, so, so it's all about being uncomfortable with, you know, being comfortable with the uncomfortable, okay? So the most unnatural thing to do is go underwater with, on an exhale. So now we just want you to completely <laughs> exhale, pretty much, pretty much everything. We want you to sink to the bottom, okay? and just sink to the bottom. And then you'll feel, pretty soon you'll feel a convulsion, which, and you'll wanna, you wanna come up, you wanna come up. And the second you wanna feel you wanna come up, I want you to start moving, okay? And I want you to, I want you to start swimming underwater and it'll actually be really nice because you'll have no oxygen inside you, you'll actually be sinking to the bottom of the pool. And I want you to just go as slow as you can, as far as you can, okay? 
So no looking at the end of the pool, no kicking your legs like mad, slowing everything down and just gliding. Moving your arms slowly and just seeing how far you can get. And, th and this, is, this is the weird thing about it, is because the worst moment is here. And as you start moving, it weirdly gets nice. Is that because you're starting to like, I don't know, just, I don't know. <laughs> you, you, you won't, you won't pass out. Nice you, no, no, you, uh, you're 100% you won't pass out. 100% you won't pass out. But, I'll leave it when I feel it. Yeah, yeah. So, so you might want to, like, for this, it's, it's, again, it's, it's practice. It's like getting used to feeling super uncomfortable, um, but also realizing how far you can go without any option in there. You know, like. Okay? So again, it doesn't matter how far you go, it doesn't matter how long you hold your breath for. It's just about the feeling. It's amazing. I've actually got, like, so my tips would be uh, to try and slow everything down, lose, use the legs less. Um, and don't look at the end of the pool and yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the pain. Well, yeah, think, yeah. I think we've got some work to do, haven't we, Heather? So Hello. thanks ever so much for coming today. I mean, it's been really interesting. I've never done anything like this before. So yeah, we're going to go away and practice. It is. But so it's going to be interesting when we try and put it into like, if we are still going to see who can go the furthest, mm. how do we like. Because you know you're saying slow it down, but then you go slower. So it's trying, I guess it's finding that happy medium of... Uh, 100%. The, slow, the slower you go, the further you'll go. 100%. That's a weird yeah, I, mindset. I can't get Especially if you're super efficient, you know? So, yeah. Okay, we're back for attempt number two. Oh yeah, I'm feeling nervous again. I just don't like holding my breath and that panic feeling. But kind of slightly calmer, you know, I'm trying to get into this sort of more calm state. So I'm hoping it's not going to feel as bad. Yeah, I think I definitely need to work on that. Um, Andy <laughs> was quite quick to pick up on the fact that I rush things. So yeah. I'm trying to get into a zen-like state as well. Um, I feel like you've got more room for improvement, which annoys me because I was hoping after this that I might be able to get closer to you. But I feel like you have more room because you know he had a, there was a lot wrong with yours if that makes sense yeah okay there was yeah. less wrong with mine but it was still rubbish so it's hard to think that we're going to improve given like how out of breath i felt after oh. the last attempt that i could possibly go any further but i'm fascinated to see because we did i felt like improved a lot just on that day with andrew so but i want to know how you're going to approach it because obviously andrew was talking about like it's not about speed it's very mm. much about calm and slow but our target is still to go further. So yeah, tell me you? that when I'm starting to run out of breath and I'm going, yeah, just carry on going slow. I'm, I'm just going to start panicking and kicking more. And uh, yeah, but anyway, we should probably get on with this. Who's first uh, then? I don't know. Do you want to go? You know what? Yeah, I just want to get this over and done with. Okay, good luck. All right. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. Chill, calm. chill. I'm going to yeah, give you some on. space. for my attempt. I don't know about you, but I am so glad that's over. Although part of me being competitive is like, I want to go back and keep improving even though I don't like doing it. Yeah, it's a weird one. I mean, all we're doing is going underwater and holding our breath, but it's such a nerve-wracking thing. It's not a pleasant experience, but I am pleased to say that we both went further. Oh, yes, we did. Go on, share how far you managed. I managed to make it to almost 70 metres, so 
almost three lengths of this pool, so I'm pretty pleased with that. How about yourself? Well, I got past the turn, which that was like my, I think it's a mental barrier because I've never managed to turn around before. Um, it was just 35 meters, but I am super chuffed because it's, it's a big barrier, so I feel like I've now opened up the capacity to go further. And I do, I do think I would find it easier in a 50 meter pool because it's just like, not having to turn and if in a 50 year i reckon i i could start to target a whole length maybe but it's easy to sit here and say this now yeah, isn't well, it? i'm super impressed how much we've both improved and i think as you said i think we could still continue to improve i definitely still panicked a couple of bits. <laughs> oh Classic me. it's just that reflex it just it really you're so, it's a natural reaction it and it's really hard to override it i mean Ultimately, we found this utterly fascinating. It's been yeah. so, so cool having Andrew in. So thanks again to Andrew for helping us with that. And I hope Massive, you guys have you. found this interesting. I mean, we came into this almost for a bit of fun, but we've actually taken a lot of information from this for ourselves. So we've been swimming our entire yeah. lives. I mean, now I'm going to go out and like hit those big waves next time I'm surfing and I'll be oh, able to easy. stay under the water for plenty of time. Easy. Nazareth, <laughs> Just need to learn to surf, but apart from yeah. that well hopefully you guys enjoyed it i mean as you can tell we certainly enjoyed it it's just something it's nice to have a slightly different challenge well hit that like button if you have and remember we're on social media give us a follow there and you can subscribe here on youtube as well